good morning friends today i will discuss about uh, some few points about the beam what is single reinforced beam first of all if the steel in reinforcement is provided in tensile zone only it is called a single reinforced beam but if the steel reinforcement are provided in tensile as well as the compressive zone it is known as the double reinforced beam next i will discuss about the balanced section under reinforced and the over reinforced section in case of a balanced section the area of the steel reinforcement is such that the steel and the concrete fails simultaneously so please remember the definition of a balanced section of a beam that if area of steel reinforcement is such that it is the steel and the concrete both fails simultaneously it is a balanced section what is under reinforced section the area of the steel is provided in such a way that is it is less than the area of the steel of a balanced section then the steel will fail before concrete it is very easy to remember or understand if you provide less steel than whatever is needed for a balanced section then what happens as you are providing the steel reinforcement less the steel will fail before concrete so it is called a under reinforced section the third one is the over reinforced section it is just the opposite of under reinforced that means if the area of the steel provided is more than the area of the steel needed for a balanced section then what will happen the concrete will fail fast before steel so that is called the over reinforced section of a beam now let, uh, let us discuss one point over here that all practical sections are under reinforced why why it is not a actually ideally it should be a balanced section but all the practical sections are under reinforced it is not over reinforced it is kept under reinforced why the answer lies over here that as steel is a ductile material so if you see or if you remember the stress strain curve of a ductile material you remember that the ductile material gives signal before failing that means what it forms a neck and by neck formation it gives signal that it is going to fail after some time so it is always preferred that a ductile material if the steel being a ductile material if it fails before concrete it will give signal so it is it will be helpful for us to take precautions whereas concrete being a brittle material brittle material doesn't give any signal before failing it just breaks or fails so all the practical sections are designed as under reinforced section next uh, this is a this is the diagram for a balanced under reinforced and the over reinforced section please uh, remember or keep this diagram in your mind in your brain like any way because this is the very important diagram uh, you, you you will be given one question and you have to identify that which diagram uh, which section diagram it is let us start and uh, you will understand what i am telling over here explaining over here this is a rectangular section of b and d and you can see the steel reinforcement over here the first diagram shows the balanced section correct na the blue blue line shows the neutral axis in case of a balanced section the critical na and the uh, actual na they coincides correct the second one that is the under reinforced section the blue sec, uh, blue line is what critical na but actual na in case of under reinforced section you can see with the red line it is above and in the third case that is the over reinforced section that the critical um, na lies above the actual na or the actual na neutral axis lies below the critical na so please remember this diagram you have to identify that for which uh, this is the stress diagram so which uh, diagram uh, which section diagram you have been given and you have to identify it okay now depth of a balanced section please remember this table also that in case of a mild steel fe250 that is the depth of a balanced section is 0.53 d d is as you can see the effective depth that is from the center of the reinforcement till the farthest fiber correct in case of a uh, fe415 
Fe 415 it is 0 0.48 d and in case of Fe 550 it is 0 0.46 into d. Good morning friends. Today I will discuss about the slab and the difference between the one way slab and two way slab. Many questions can come from this uh, topic, the topic which I am going to discuss now. Let us start one way slab versus two way slab. What is one way slab where L by B is greater than equal to 2? What does it mean? That is the ratio of the longer span by the shorter span should be more than or equal to 2. Then it is defined as one way slab. The two way slab if L by B ratio is less than 2. Second point. In case of one way slab, the slab is supported by beams on two opposite sides. But in case of a two way slab, it is supported on all four sides. In case of one way slab, it bends in one direction that is it bends along the shorter span. But in case of a two way slab, the slab bends in both directions. Number four, deflected shape in case of a one way slab is cylindrical. In case of a two-way slab, the deflection is in the shape of a dish or a saucer. One-way slab example where you can see the chajas and the verandas. Two-way slab you can see in the floors of a multi-storied building. Sixth point, main steel is given in the spanning direction. That is the steel reinforcements are given in the spanning direction. In case of a two-way slab, the reinforcement are given in both the directions. One-way slab is economical up to 3.6 meter, whereas two-way slab can be provided in case of a 6 meter by a 6 meter span also. One-way slab consumes less steel, so the depth of the slab is more. Hence, the slab thickness is also more. But in case of a two-way slab, steel required is more. So the depth of slab is less and the slab thickness is also less. Last I have discussed, uh, I have just uh, given one diagram. So this is the example of a one way slab that is 2 meter by 6 meter. Suppose the span is like this way. So the sh longer span by shorter span that is that will be what L by B that is 6 meter by 2 meter that gives around 3. So this is more than Two. So this is an example of the one way slab. But let us take the example of a two way slab 3 meter by 2 meter. What is the ratio of the longer span by shorter span? That is 3 by 2. 3 by 2 means what? 1.5 less than 2. So this is two way slab. And as I have shown you, uh, told you about the deflected shape now, here is the diagram that uh, one way slab bends in a cylindrical way and uh, two way slab bends in a, bends like a dish or a saucer. So this is the diagram for that. Thank you.